Hello, this is Yusuf Ersturk. I'm the PI for Team Sleep. Hi, I'm Randy Whitfield, and I'm the industry mentor for Team Sleep. I'm Ines Chetin. I'm a member of Team 1490. My name is Ege Shiri, and I'm the EL for Team 4090. We are a team of electrical engineers working on medical device technologies. We present our non-contact sensor for respiration rate estimation. We began the NSFI core program with the value proposition of a non-contact solution for in-home sleep monitoring. We predicted that demonstrating the capabilities of our sensor would be the most important step in successfully launching a startup. The initial customer segments were determined to be sleep labs as well as the mass consumer market. And so, we began our five-week journey of customer discovery. Many of our initial interviewees were doctors and nurses, who immediately took an interest in the respiration rate detection aspect of our sensor. We had key interviews with Dr. Richard Rose, Adam Seaver, and Tim Morris, who we thought was one of the most interesting people we spoke to. As we continued to interview more people, we were presented with other potential applications for our technology beyond sleep detection, including epilepsy, respiration monitoring, insomnia, and ICU delirium. The most recurring pattern after about 50 interviews, however, was that sleep monitoring is a limited market for a startup company, and respiration rate monitoring would have a much larger total available market estimated at 1 million beds in the US, as well as innovative, proprietary technology that can save lives. There were meetings that permitted the formal boundaries of an interview, where we made strong connections and extended our network. We had positive discussions with department managers in hospitals and sales directors from several large tech companies while exploring possible avenues for partnerships. Approaching the 100 interview count, we now understand that to successfully launch and grow a startup, it is critical to address what the customer needs rather than what we think is interesting.